my name is Karen van der Borgt, Karen van der Borgt. Uh, I am a creative director. I work with the National Film Board on a project called Ocean School. <laughs> 360 and VR will push documentary makers and the documentary medium to really fundamentally rethink uh, its values and its work methods. The form and how the story is told is going to change because of the financial partners involved in the project. Uh, I think a lot of documentaries have become uh, too standardized for a broadcast TV. And I hopefully with 360 and VR we finally going to be able to go away from that. <laughs> Developing uh, or reinventing uh, the visual language for, for storytelling. It's different, so it's not just another camera system. A good use of VR is uh, experiences, so the makers should be generous in that way to create this environment uh, open for interpretation and, and exploration. I think there's some solutions out there like pocket 360 camera rigs that you can just put on your iPhone or Android phone and uh, they, that comes with soft, free software that stitches it. In that way, technically it is accessible, but if you want to have high-end results, well, that doesn't really matter if it's 360 or VR, then everything will become costly, even if in, in what, what I call flat video. I walked by a store a couple of hours ago and they were selling the Samsung Gear VR. Cardboards are really inexpensive, so that's not the problem. I think the problem is that VR and 360 are unknown for a lot of people. Even if, if big companies are trying to push it, uh, it's probably gonna happen uh, by younger kids getting into getting it into schools like we do with the NFB and Ocean School. So Ocean School, as the title suggests, um, is an educational project that talks about oceans. It has classic documentary in it, but it also contains several virtual reality experiences going from 360 video to games to something in between 360 video and games. I can think of some tools that might help it to survive its hype. Lightweight um, device that I can put in my pocket and it's gonna uh, be a, uh, a mix of VR, AR and mixed reality. Or VR being used in 3D um, applications where I can actually design in a 3D environment not only for games, but also, for example, I can imagine for car makers and all, in more family environment where people could watch what you're watching. Yeah, those are things that make it practical, make it more collective, collaborative, make it something that I can switch between different kinds of realities, let's say. Yeah. <laughs>